we're here at the new 42nd Street studio in the heart of the theater district, waiting, waiting a long time for Will Ferrell. He's working in the media gauntlet, can get his way, make his way down here. We're going to ask him about his new show, uh, You're Welcome America, uh, A Final Night with George W. Bush. It's his solo show, his Broadway debut, and in it he'll be playing the, uh, the character he's best known for, perhaps, that's George W. Bush. It's, uh, it's basically George W. Bush trying to make a last-ditch attempt to frame himself in history, and he's sort of called everyone together in the theater to sort of make his case that he's not the worst president in the history of the United States and to let you see his side of the picture. Uh, so he answers a lot of questions that have never been answered. Uh, he shows his side on a lot of the encounters and behind the closed doors scenes that happen at Camp David. And so this is, this is really a, a, a big deal for me, you know. Uh, I mean, I, obviously it's a big deal for anyone to come to be able to be on Broadway in any sh way, shape, or form. It's eight years of kind of doing him on, on and off, so pretty comfortable on that level. Uh, but yeah, to take on kind of a show this size and to do a one-man piece, uh, you know, for 75 minutes, it's, I've never done anything like it, so, yeah. so hopefully I'll be able to handle it. <laughs> I'm about to find out. You've done satire before with, with NAS, you know, satirizing NASCAR, um, uh, TV anchorman. Is political satire a totally different beast, or what's that like? Well, you know, I actually wrote on SNL when Will was doing Bush on there. So I wrote a lot of the Bush things. I wrote a lot of the Clinton things with Daryl Hammond. Uh, and I also write on Huffington Post a lot. You know, I would watch the way Daryl Hammond on Saturday Night Live would study someone so intently that he'd figure out the fact that they'd had dental surgery at some point in their life. You know, he was that much of a scientist with it. Watching video over and over? Yeah, and I, I'm way too lazy to do that. So, uh, <laughs> uh, but, you know, the show, we go in and out of him being brash and arrogant to wistful to to sad to all these things so it's kind of fun to to take what probably was more of a one-dimensional depiction on Saturday Night Live and really kind of add all these colors in a weird way uh, and even though it's it's what we feel like a very funny comedy there's still there's still a lot of moments I get to play that I, that I never got to do uh, on the show We've, we've had two responses to this show. One is, thank God this is happening. And the other one is, why would you go dredge up all that horrible stuff we just went through? So it's, uh, and that's precisely why we want to do it. I mean, you know, anytime you have a comic like with Will's skills, it's a great way to sort of look at this stuff while at the same time laughing. Now, if you, uh, if, if you were to like be doing your show and you saw Bush in the audience, what would you say or do to him? I would say, what are you doing here? <laughs> really? You came? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You got to meet Will Ferrell, funny guy, and uh, a very humble, sweet fellow as well, as you could tell. His show is called uh, You're Welcome, America, A Final Night with George W. Bush. It's at the Court Theater, and uh, could be funny, could be a little sad, too. We'll see uh, Will stretch some wings.